Kanzo um, became a, an official observer at ICAO in October 2006. Um, we've been at it for almost six years, if you will. Um, what that brings is that we've got official status to attend meetings and represent our constituency, the ANSPs. Obviously, a lot of what we say is uh, the ANSP position, but of course, we also have a lot of our associate members that are very much part of the CANZO process in, in determining positions, uh, views on, on things. So they're very much part of the process, but they're not represented at ICAO um, directly. Um, we are the voice of ANSPs at ICAO. And uh, so that's um, how that also works is that we are also, um, we have a seat in the Air Navigation Commission, which is um, the body that, uh, the technical body of the, the Council of ICAO that uh, approves or recommends um, standards and recommended practices. And of course, these standards and recommended practices when it comes to air navigation services, um, of course, shape the way that our members need to operate and, and deliver their services. So it's um, <clears throat> very much, uh, we're very much part of the process of um, the institutional framework and the regulatory framework under which our members ultimately have to, to operate through their state um, uh, legislation that you know, hopefully models the, or reflects the, the, uh, the SARPs as they call them, the Standards and Recommended Practices of ICAO. ICAO have started a number of initiatives where they're really looking to the industry to deliver. Um, uh, and such things as when you look at safety, runway safety is a, is a major uh, area where we've got um, uh, to make some real improvements uh, in the industry. Runway excursions are a major um, uh, r safety risk and uh, we've taken a very collaborative approach to dealing with that. So the airports community represented by ACI, IATA of course representing the airlines, CANZO representing the ANSPs, uh, and various other groups um, involved in that process. Um, so that's just in safety, but also in areas of uh, operational improvements. When you talk about collaborative decision making, again, a very, you know, the, the name says it all, collaborative. So we, we need to engage our, our partners in the industry, apart from ICAO, to, um, to um, make things, uh, things happen. And that's really where things happen, are in the regions, are in, uh, you know, the, the locations, uh, whether it's an airport or a particular air route. Um, so collaboration is really uh, what it's all about uh, and that's for air traffic management um, it's inherently collaborative um, air traffic management is about um, uh, you know it's as much about the ANSP as it is about the operators that happen to 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 be operating on a route or in a, at an airport it is also about the the uh, the airports um, so it's inherently collaborative and we've always taken this approach um, that it's not just council that can solve the problem, we're very much part of the solution. Um, and uh, the challenge is, is really coming together as an industry to solve some of the, these issues and move forward and deliver some real results uh, ultimately um, for the benefit of, of aviation um, uh, community as, as a whole. Well, it's a once-in-a-decade event where the states come together and determine the, uh, the road ahead, if you will, uh, on air navigation issues. Um, so they will be agreeing a new global air navigation plan, which will have a new um, framework uh, called the Aviation System Block Upgrades uh, for uh, aviation system planning purposes. Well, we have a major stake in this, obviously. It's about air navigation. It's about, uh, that's the business of uh, our members. Um, so obviously states have a role in this as regulators, as uh, policy makers, but we have a stake in it as providers. So do the airlines, uh, the operators, and uh, so do the manufacturers. And I think this is the first time where the entire community comes together uh, under this framework of the ASBUs to um, determine a way forward.
The ISBU is um, the aviation system block upgrade is a um, it's a composite of activity that needs to take place. Um, so in other words, the uh, regulatory um, process that needs to um, approve standards uh, have um, you know the regulatory approval processes in place for um, approval of procedures, for example, uh, new systems that need to be uh, approved. Um, then you also have, of course, the the procedures themselves that need to be put together by by industry and and uh, promulgated. Um, and then, of course, you have um, you know the the very systems that need to be uh, in place. Um, so all of this coming together, it's really a collaborative approach um, to uh, implementation, and that's what's very different this time uh, around for uh, for uh, planning purposes. We represent the air navigation service providers, and therefore we're representing um, their interests in this forum. Uh, that is ICAO. It's the you know the states coming together. Um, we're an industry association that's duly recognized by ICAO, so we're an observer to that process, and of course have a, a major stake in it. Uh, so uh, our process has been getting our members engaged in this uh, in lead up to this event, uh, putting the various uh, papers together, um, you know our positions, and then of course during the event itself we'll be engaging with with the audience that is there, that is going to be there, the states. Uh, and intervene on issues uh, that are up for debate and discussion. The priority would definitely be, um, as it is for the for ICAO as well, is to get approval of the this new uh, framework, the uh, aviation system block upgrades. We support it. We've been very much part of the process of putting those together. We've been supporting the. Um, technical team that, uh, that, that put the construct together. Um, so we have a, a stake in this. We're definitely there uh, to support, but we're also there to present our views, uh, the, our members' views, and make sure that things go in the direction that we would like to, to, to go. The main benefit is that there will be more synchronization in terms of planning. Um, not just for investments, but uh, there's the financing element as well the, uh, of the investments, but also coordination with neighbors, uh, neighboring uh, states and providers. Um, it's really, uh, that's the key thing. This is a collaborative approach uh, from the, the beginning in terms of putting the ASBOOS together, but also in terms of implementation. Um, and having, on a regional basis, um, regions being able to determine what um, they need to do and what steps they need to be taking to get to that next level of performance. And that's the big shift that's taken place is that we have taken a very much a collaborative approach now to, to getting, uh, getting improvements in the system uh, achieved. The request that I would have to our members is to support the process that we've been undertaking. Uh, we really need their engagement in this process. Uh, that what we are presenting as Canzo indeed reflects the views uh, of our members. Um, that's just in leading up to the event. Um, and then during the event, of course, it's important that some of our members are there. Um, as advisors to their state delegations so that our views, the views of the industry uh, that we represent gets understood. And then of course afterwards uh, there is all the uh, implementation activity that will have to take place where again uh, we would be relying uh, on our members to actually carry out um, certain activities. So that's uh, it, it's a three-part process if you will and a continuing process.